What is up guys? Mr. The Reverts here. Welcome back to another Operator Mod Profile. And today for episode 3, we are going to be covering the dual wield SOG 9mm SMG. Now, this is the only weapon in Black Ops 4 that lets you akimbo or run around with another weapon in your hand. The SOG is already a really strong weapon up close, but now, let's see what happens when you have another one. Now the dual wield op mod can be unlocked once the SOG hits max level at 14 and the akimbo mod doesn't alter any of the weapon stats. Pretty much it just lets you carry around another SOG in your hand and nothing more. But the SOG already is a pretty damn good SMG but running 2 is even more deadly like up close especially on small maps the dual wield SOG shreds when you run a gun and that's really all I do in the gameplay you're watching here. It's super super hard for someone to beat you up close and what I also do is I hold down my sprint button because that gives me a bit more mobility when I'm shooting just making it more difficult for the enemy to outgun me and gung ho works really well with this strat too because I'm able to shoot while sprinting. So yeah, up close, this thing will completely demolish you. But from a distance, the range on the dual wield SOG is terrible. You can empty out a clip on someone from medium to long distance, and you'll probably land two, maybe, maybe three bullets. So that's why I stress playing aggressive with this gun. It's very annoying to go against when somebody is just constantly shooting your team and just stopping their push. So uh, yeah, definitely run a gun with this gun. And the specialist that I like to use the most is Ruin because of his grapple hook. It just makes me more mobile and it fits the fast paced play style when running and gunning around the map. So yeah, very very good gun all overall for objective game based players as well. Now for the loadout I recommend is definitely going to help you tear through enemies. For the attachments I use the suppressor because of the play style with this gun. You're going to be moving around the map killing multiple enemies up close and the more you are off the radar the better. Also, fast mags complements the playstyle really well since you will have to be reloading a lot. For the perk, scavenger is absolutely necessary because you will run through ammo like nothing. So always, always run scavenger and then gung ho so you'll recover faster after sprinting. And then finally, tier 3 is kind of up in the air, but I prefer to use tracker so I can see my enemy footsteps when I'm flanking around behind them and I'll know exactly where they went. Um, some people may prefer to use Dead Silence or even Ghost to that. You can't go wrong with those two perks at all, um, but I just prefer uh, Tracker so I know where the enemy players went. So guys, that's the loadout for this creative class. This is a very, very deadly combo here. You're gonna be tearing through enemies like nothing. Um, but you, like I said, definitely you don't want to try and engage people from long range because that's one of the biggest downsides with this gun. The long range sucks. So try to get behind them. Try to go up close as much as possible. And don't create a lot of space between you and your enemies. Get up close to them and then you'll tear them down. So that's going to be it for the video of the operator mod for the SOG. Very, very good gun overall. If you guys did enjoy the video, don't forget to leave a like down below. And also comment your thoughts about the SOG 9mm SMG. And thanks for watching. Till next time, I'll see you guys later.